Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of more new Pokemon Plamo kits here. These are in the Pokeplot Quick line, which I've already done reviews of the Pikachu and Mew kits in the line. So you guys should have a pretty good idea what to expect from these. So I figured I'd just combine these two into one single video so we can just take a look at both of them. We're taking a look at number five here, Score Bunny, and number six, Piplup kits here today. So once again, some beautiful box art here on these. Shows you the actual kit, what it looks like, just built up straight out of the box. And you can see the runners there in the background. They have this cool doodle styling going on there at the top. So just really fun, little simple, and very cheap kits as well too. So if you're a fan, they're definitely worth checking out. So let's go ahead and take a look at Score Bunny here first. Again, looks pretty nice. I'm gonna guess that we're probably gonna have maybe a couple of stickers for these parts. The color separation on these kits from my experience so far is pretty good, but again, they're very cheap, simple kits. So when you have a lot of little color apps here, I don't know, some of that might be stickers, but we'll find out. There's the end of the box there, just showing a little cutie Score Bunny. And then on the sides, once again, just kind of highlighting the simplicity of the build. You just snap the parts off by hand. You can, if you prefer anyway, or you can use nippers if you want. You fit them together and then just put it on the desk it's as simple as that and there it is with Pikachu on the desk there and you can get a kind of sense of the size of this they're not going to be all necessarily that large but pretty good size kits your instructions for putting the kit together are printed on the inside of the box there you've also got your parts list in there as well too just for reference if you need that and a little guide just about how to place on the stickers there I guess that's all in Japanese really all you need to do is just follow the manual and it's pretty simple enough to put these together of course the foil sticker sheet for this is a little bit larger than I would have hoped, is you got a number of them, looks like 11 stickers you'll have for this. I was expecting the eyes, maybe the nose, but these other ones are a little bit kind of disappointing to see. Runner A1 is going to be a few parts in white, and then our only single yellow piece there, I'm guessing probably for the nose, is going to be right there. And then Runner A2 has the rest of our white parts, as well as some red parts for, I think, the toes, the collar piece, and then the tips of the ears. As for the Pip Love kit here, I'm guessing we're probably going to have a little bit better color separation for this one as just looking at the photograph of the kit here on the front it looks like those are kind of all separate colors for the most part so that should be a little bit better on this kit but once again just kind of highlighting the simplicity of the build here on the front there's a quick look at the end of the box and then on the side again just showing how you can just snap it off by hand put it together and then put it right down on your desk or shelf or wherever you want to place that so very cute indeed this one as well too is just going to have your simple, easy to follow instructions here on the inside of the box. Should be a pretty simple build, it's just basically a couple of simple shapes to put there here for Piplup. Our stickers, fortunately in this case, are just for the eyes and that's it, so you only got a couple of stickers to place on this. Runner A1 here is going to have a couple of white parts at the top, a yellow piece over here, this kind of light teal color right there, and then a big blue piece for the head. And runner A2 is going to have an, our other big blue piece there, a couple other light blue pieces, and then some more light yellow pieces there for the feet. All right, so here they are all built up. We'll take a look at both the kits there, the Score Bunny and a Piplup. And a special thanks to my two kids for helping me build these. We had fun building these together. I let them kind of do most of the building uh, because these kits are pretty simple. And even though they're just three and seven years old, they actually handled these pretty well. I only had to help a little bit. So fun kits to build with your kids or, you know, just for yourself. Very simple, very quick builds. So these weren't uh, built with any tools or anything. Just the parts popped off the runner, put together and stickers placed on there. Again, with the Piplup kit, I mean, the stickers are very minimal, just the eyes, so that's great. Uh, with the Score Bunny kit, there's uh, definitely more stickers involved for the orange bands around the ears, the yellow parts on side the ears, the eyes, the nose, and also the pads underneath the feet as well too, there's stickers there, but, and for a quick size comparison, here they are compared with your standard HD 144 scale Gundam kit, so you can get a sense of the size of these. I'm not sure if these are actually in scale to each other or how these are in scale, like in the Pokemon universe, but at least you guys can see. They're a few inches tall anyway. So again, guys, just to wrap up this real quick review of these kits, guys, this series is a lot of fun, uh, especially if you're a Pokemon fan and you just want something as just a simple kit to put up on your shelf. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of toys and plushies and all sorts of different Pokemon stuff that you can buy. Obviously, the merchandise is plentiful everywhere but these are a lot of fun just because it's something that you can actually build as well too even though it's not something that takes a lot of time to build you know it's just something that you have, can have a little bit more fun with this or I think probably rather than just buying a, a figure or something and just popping it up on your shelf this is something you can have that fun experience and if you wanted to actually paint the kits as well too there's a lot of seam line removal to do on these especially on the score bunny but I uh, I mean, it's if you're willing to, you know, take that time, take some patience to get rid of all the seams on them, but uh, or just not really to worry too much about that, because honestly, I mean, the seams aren't super apparent. If you are just painted up and not worry about the seam lines, I mean, I'm, I, 
I wouldn't blame you all that much, really, to be honest. But that's going to do it for today, guys. So if you do have any other further questions or comments about these, of course, do feel free to leave those down below. Check these kits out at USA Gundam Store and everything else that we've got there at the site. The link and the coupon code for you guys to use will be down there in the video description. So thank you so much for checking that out. Thanks for watching the video today. And if you'd like to like the video, subscribe. That would also be greatly appreciated as well, too. Until next time, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.